Hello YouTube, this is Alarm Fan 8 today, uh, and today we picked this little gem up today, and it's a family guard mm. smoke alarm. Now we actually went down to pick up the latest Argus book, Cole actually loves the Argus book because it's got all the things that he's into, which are not the average child's uh, interest, it's like a big um, encyclopedia of um, all the things he loves. And quite often as well, I'll have to cut all the things out to keep what we just, we, we won't keep the whole book. We will just keep specific things, but you can actually get scans and stuff of Argos as well. But he just wants his own paper copies. So yeah, we found this one today at the local charity shop. This is a brand new in the box. But looking at the people on the front here, this is, I, I should imagine, is a fairly... No, they do do when they read it. They do do when they've got red coats and they do do when they reading the lady who got a boo and the, and the, the man who's got like a white uh, a back one and the, and the, and the gal is wearing, uh, what do you call it, Neno. Yeah, as you can tell, Carl's been on Google and found out about this no, alarm I did, a little I bit. I didn't found one of these on there. No. So what happened was we went down to the charity shop, um, this particular charity shop. We do have a little look around because sometimes they have vacuums, but they are quite often no, very... No, I see a dustbuster. Yeah, they had... Three they had... dustbusters. So you've seen three dustbusters. No, no, I've seen one old one. What's got like the wall? I've seen one, two... The, the boxy one, wasn't it? No, I've seen two, like, brand new kind of ones. They're the, the tiny brackets. Right. And that's a three one, like, the big... Once you put the hose in there, the, the thing, and as you sham it down, it the old fashioned ones. Yeah. It won't have to gun it back. So, we've seen this one, this was £2.50, and he sort of twisted my arm, and he said, Look, Dad, I'm obviously walking around. Mm -hmm. And I said, Oh, I said, Bear. Yeah. And I said, Well, oh, we're not no, really going to use this. One. So, yeah, well, let's have a look at the back of here. So, this is a family guard. Um, you do get a lot of videos in the US, and I think we've also watched one in Canada. It was like... No, the best is shower in Canada. No, no house in Canada. Every house that a guy went to, it's got one of those silken arms up on the guard roof. Yeah, so this is a quite a popular brand. Um, no, no. Carl actually... I think I've even seen one in a camping shop before. Yeah. What looks like it. And and is it made by First Alert or something? Yes. First Alert to the same one? Yeah. So this is a brand it's new one, that, because... This bit here has never been used. It's never been open. So we're actually going to no, open this one up no, today. And it says, yeah, and it says advised to fit a smoke detector on each level of the building, and it got red. Don't know what red means. That, that's probably when they have the red thing on there. Yeah. The red pops. And then it says the blues. The blue for each room. So I should imagine this is a room um, smoke detector. And they also do, like he said, them wearing the red as well. So I think the red one is for the... What that says? So let's see what it says. So this has a slim, uh, unobstructive design, loud alarm, alarm test button, automatic low warning signal. Those are uh, those annoying beeps that you get. Um, like you say, we, we've got Nest Protect in the house. Yeah, what that and they actually give you a... A message on the phone before no, it starts I'm beeping. talking. And then when it gets to too low, it will keep. It will talk. Yes. So hang on. It says it's hinged cover for easy battery replacement. Full instructions and leaflet. So we're actually going to open this one. No, now. what that says. Yeah, we remember that. Oh yeah, it says over seventy-five percent of all deaths of fire in the UK occur in the home. Seven hundred people die. Over seven thousand injured domestic fires. Not the same. Yeah, because if you have home insurance... That's the same? And that's the same? Yeah. So... No, and what, and what's the number of this one is? Oh, right, let's get the... So this one is an FG888L. And it is from um, BRK Electronics Limited. What's your bat is? A Reading. So let's get this one open now and see... Well, I'll send to him in the shop. Well, it's probably going to be something that somebody's had up for years and put it back in the box, but he good. said, no, it's not even been opened. So this one should be actually white and not that damn horrible yellow colour. Uh, how are you opening it? You just have to rip it open, mate. How? The whole box? Um, yeah, you just got to rip it. 
Yeah, don't mind about that. We can put it back in the box. Um, it, obviously, this one won't be up in our front room or anything because we have got enough alarms uh, in our house uh, to keep our house nice and safe from fire prevention. Uh, um, I think the only one we haven't got now is a bedroom one, and we haven't got a heat alarm. But yeah, I am quite. There's a shutter mango. But we've got less protects and stuff, carbon monoxide, dual sensors. No, we're not going to go through there, but we'll, we'll see if this thing works. So just open this one up. So it is quite white, that one, isn't it? Screws. Screws, yeah. The battery. Does the battery work? Oh, yes, yeah, never been open, has it? Beeper. So with the battery, let's see if the battery on it. Look. Oh, it's got oh, ever ready look. Huh. Now that is an old battery look, a class, an ever ready classic battery. This. I, can, I can remember everybody used to have ever ready batteries. They had, and then Duracell come on the market. This will be jump. nailed. Let's plug this one in then. Somebody want to make a sharp noise? Go no, one way. One way. That's it. So it's nice to see that this old battery actually hasn't leaked. Um, I'm not too sure the age of this one. I wouldn't like to say really. Oh yeah, and it says that it says it's printed in the USA. So technically, this is a US brand that they've introduced into the UK, and um, that's why we see so many um, videos about Here them. It is. I don't even know if the battery's going to work. It may not never ever work. Or you not put it in. Right. No. It might be the battery, mate. Yeah. Moved. Passed. It's in there, isn't it? No. I'll uh, investigate right, this. Well, let's just see if this works this off. I've pushed it in. And it's still nothing. <laughs> dee, 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 let's get a modern dee. battery and see if it works. Well, show them what battery you've had to put in there. That one there doesn't work, so obviously it's discharged. This one is not the sort of battery I would recommend not to put in there. I would not say not to put one of these in there. This is a Duracell rechargeable one. Oh look, one. it's got, it's got a, one of those silent things. So it does work. So, I'll put this in just for the demo only. Um, obviously this will be taken out. We probably won't even leave the battery in the thing. Because yeah. the problem is if you leave the batteries in there and the, and the batteries start going, it, we'll have like say 15 things chirping at us. So uh, if you press the button now, It's working now. Um, that's alright. So this was about just over two pound at the charity shop. This is brand new battery. Um, it, it would have been nice to have a vintage battery in it. Yes, yeah, because this is quite an old battery. Is it got? A, I don't know if it's got a date on here. It's already ready. I'll uh, see if I can find the date on this quickly, because this could be before they even put dates on the batteries. Well, I've just checked the battery. The battery has no date on it, so it's a fairly old battery. And that, you see that? Um, I was going to say. I'm not too sure when they introduced dates I was going to say, there's the night. When I push that, night flashes. So it's a nice, nice little piece of his collection of uh, smoke detectors. And someone else I've found out as well. Um, it don't shut when you've got a battery. When you put a battery in, this sort of clamps together and it allows it to shut so just no no this is no you can trick it yeah i know you can like that yeah, but you're not supposed to so the idea on this is you can close it when you got um, a battery in so a quick piece of that for a couple of pounds well, i mean so that normally we look around at the boot so for something like that but it's nice to get a brand new one in the box brand new um like you say the battery has just just discharged so it's not working no more but no need to recharge them no, I want to recharge them because they'll just go up. We have got rechargeable batteries because Carl likes certain noises and it is nice to, instead of no, buying a battery. I, I, no, I, I, that, I want to show you the brand new ones that are not dissonant. Yeah. Look. Yeah. 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 No, we're not doing that now. Ow. Head, ears, singing. You see? Yeah. Sneezer. Different. This yeah, well, that's a rechargeable one, mate. So, yeah, we do keep rechargeable ones for... Because he sometimes will run one of these down to the ground. These haven't actually got a lot of capacity in them. Compare with a little, uh, a little pencil battery, you know, as it, what they call them. 
as an AA, but we I used to know them as pence. They used to come pencil batteries back in the day. Uh, and the nine volt ones, and then they had the um, the no, twelve volt ones, the no, bigger what, ones again. What That's the ones they used to have on bike lights and stuff like that. Uh, what did what do makers ever ready? Ah, uh, these are the same maker pugs. That's right, but Ever Ready used to make everything. They used to make batteries, plugs, so protectors, sockets, and it's only like the places like B and M. I've got Ever Ready stuff now, um, but I don't think it's the same company. No, it should protect us through them. Yeah. Ever yeah, Ready there's an Ever Ready smoke detector down B and M as well. Yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Very pleased with this uh, little uh, family guard smoke detector or smoke alarm. Yeah, uh, Say Nate, about the old um, battery. Well, Nate those symbol. Yeah, well, we can keep that battery. No, Nate those symbol. It's got a cat and it's got a cat and six. Yeah, that's actually, yeah. That's a nine, mate. That's a nine. So, yeah, yeah. quick people, very nine. piece of this one. I need to say sometimes things pop up. I know, up and I know, really I know I've done that, Nick. I know I've done that and you know it's a nine volt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes things pop out when you least Oh, it even shows where to pop them. Yeah, I know. Oh, no. Yeah, I want to get the video for them. Yeah, sometimes things pop up when you're least expecting them, really. So, very pleased with this one. And next picture of Sugar Tech. That's right. So, thank you very much for watching and see you on the next one. Bye for now.